terms of then you mentioned kind of interns and other analysts and stuff. So were you ever, um, were you in that process of hiring those guys or bringing those in? Was that something that you do? Just the reason I ask is what, what, if so, what kind of things were you looking for and what makes a good analyst really in terms of someone that's starting out? Mm -hmm. Um, In New Zealand, there wasn't much hiring going on. So the coach, hired his analyst um, based on the recommendation of assistant coach he worked for. Everyone else was working for free. So our under 20, our under 17 analysts, they were university students. They had to do a placement as part of their hours. Yeah. So the way I saw it is they can be the intern for a year and they go away to a World Cup as part of it. Yeah. So when the under 20 World Cup happens and it's in you know, Japan or Korea or wherever or France, they go off and be a part of that. So that's the kind of reward for doing that but there wasn't much hiring going on it was yeah. students and all i was looking for was just willingness to learn and just be keen because one of the best analysts i had he wasn't a he wasn't a football guy so he came from a hockey background yeah but he really wanted to learn he got more and more into football he was watching more football at home as part of the role so i think as an analyst you just have to be willing to learn and adapt because it's such a unique role in that and to, apart from the football knowledge, you don't really have to be good at anything, but mm. you have to be pretty good at a lot of things and yeah. a lot of time at the same time. Because if you drop one of them, the rest kind of fall down. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's a good way of putting it. I, I mean, just the comparison. I know it's probably changed maybe now over the years and stuff, but the difference you described in there in terms of the New Zealand landscape with analysts and then from what we see now in England in terms of the numbers that like universities are churning out at the moment. There's just so many people wanting to do it. You know, there's, and obviously there's only a limited number of jobs, even if the clubs add another one or two to the department, it's still never going to be anywhere near the number of people that are coming out and trying to do it. So that's why it's just so competitive um, over here, especially. So uh, 